Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today, we're jumping right into our tutorial. And if you're completely brand new to Canva, you'll wanna watch this video to get you started and give you an overall understanding for adding, using, and editing elements in Canva. And I'll put a link in the description below. To create your email signature in Canva, you'll wanna start from your home page. Now, they do have lots of templates that you can pick from and customize. To find them, come to the search bar, put in email signature, make sure templates is selected, and click enter. And you can see they have lots of templates that you can choose from. I wanna create mine from scratch, so I'm gonna create a custom design. And when you create an email signature, you wanna be sure that it's readable and looks good for mobile as well as desktop. The recommended size for an email signature on mobile is between 300 to 500 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. So I'm gonna go with 400 by 100. And to do that, I'm gonna come up to this button, create a design, custom size, and I'm going to select 400 by 100 pixels, create new design. The editor will open, and the first thing I want to do is add my logo. I'm going to size this, pull it over to the left, and then we'll go to text, and we'll shrink it down. And I'm gonna go on and add my guides so that I can line everything up exactly the way that I want it. And this, I know, will have to shrink down, so let's just go on and make it the font size I want. Add my name. Okay, so now I can stretch this out for the size that I want, scoot it up to the top, and then I'm going to apply my brand colors. Now I'm going to click on the box again, Control D, and here, what I want to put is what I do, my title, content creator, designer. Okay, and I also want to left align, so I'm gonna click on the alignment, and I'm gonna have to shrink it down so it fits on one line, and pull it over. Now, I also want to include my website, so I'm gonna to go to Elements, and I'm gonna search for Website Icon. I like this one. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have enough room for your next icon without it being crowded. So I'm going to shrink it down. See, I made it 27 by 27, and I'm going to change it to my brand color. And then I'm going to come here, Control D to duplicate this again. And I'm going to put in my website. And that looks a little crowded to me, so I want it to be easily readable. I'm gonna increase the letter spacing just a little bit. And I want that right in the center of that icon. So move it up a bit. And the next icon is gonna be the email icon. I like this one. And shrink it down to 27 by 27. And then we're gonna pull it over here with this one, change the color, and then I'm going to click on this text box, Control D to duplicate, get it lined up right where I want it, and then I'm going to change this to all right, and we'll have to shrink it down so that it fits on one line. Line it up. one's too big so we'll... sometimes it's just a matter of working with the sizing 11.7 let's see what 11.7 looks like slide that down just a bit so I think I'm gonna shrink these icons down what size did we make it 21 by 21, so we'll shrink this one down to 21 by 21. And we'll scoot this over, and you just line it up the way that you want it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I think I've got that pretty well spaced, but I'm just going to highlight all of these, go to position, and click tidy up. And that just moves the spacing to make sure that it's all correct. And 
scoot this back over and scoot this back over so that they line up. And be sure we'll just pull that guide over. That works. Okay. Okay, we'll pull that up just a tad. It just looks better. Okay. Now, I like the way that that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as a PNG with a transparent background. Now we want to create our clickable social media icons. So we'll come to this button here, click on custom size. We're gonna create 40 by 40 pixels, create new design. And I want to make this background brand color. And then I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm going to search for a YouTube icon. I'll pick this one and we're gonna make it 36 by 36. Okay, so now we've got it the size we want. We're gonna to go to position, center, and middle. And we're gonna change this to a brand color. Okay, now we're going to add our second icon. So we'll go up here and look for do Instagram. This one looks similar in shape, so we'll use this one and make it 36 by 36. Position, center, middle, and I'm going to change this to a brand color. And I really want a white background like the YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to click on this rounded square, pull it to the size of the icon, and then come up here to the corners and you're going to want to round the corners so that it fits. So a little big. Let's see if we can shrink that down. Okay, that'll work. And then we're going to change this color to white. And then oh, watch that corner. I don't want it hanging out. Right click and send back. Now we're going to add another page. Look for Facebook. All right. I like this one better. The corners are, are more rounded, like the similar to the YouTube and Instagram. So we're going to take this and stretch it out to 36 by 36, back to position, center, middle, and then come up here to the color box and change it to an on-brand color. Add another page, and this time we're going to search for Pinterest, this one. So we'll add this one and make it 36 by 36, position, center, middle, change the color to on-brand. And now we have our social media icons and we'll download these as JPEGs. And when it downloads, it will be a zip folder. So all you have to do is go into the file, unzip the folder and pull the images out. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and tap that notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. So now it's time to actually create your signature in Gmail. So you'll want to come to your Gmail account, click on the gear icon, click on see all settings. This page will open and you want to scroll down to signature and you're going to click on create new, name it, and this box will open. You want to click on this icon to insert an image. Click on that, click on upload and Pull in your signature. Click at the end of your signature and hit enter. Now we're going to add the social media icons. Click on insert image again, upload, and when you add your icons, you want to go in the reverse order that you want them. So I'm going to add my Pinterest icon first, and then I'm going to hit the space bar once, insert image, upload, and add the next icon, hit one space, insert image, upload, add your next icon, space, insert image, upload, and add your last icon. Okay, now to make these clickable, highlight the icon, click on this button for the link, and add the link that you want it to go to here. Click OK. Now we'll highlight the next icon, click link, add the link that you want this icon to go to, and click OK. And do the same with the other ones. OK, and you can see that the, each icon is properly linked. And now you go to the bottom of the page and save changes. Go back to the gear icon, see all settings, scroll down, 
and there you have your signature. And if you want for new emails, you want to change this to the signature that you want to use. And for on reply or forward, you can change it or you can leave it off on replies. And I want my signature in all of my responses. So set that for the signature to be included. We'll insert signature before quoted text. Come down, save changes. So now click on compose and you can see that your email signature is already there and ready to go. And that my friends is how easy it is to create your email signature in Canva. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please be sure to click the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. I'll be back next week with a new tutorial. Until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva.